Jennifer Pinches and I'm the British Junior Combined Genetics Champion 2004. My ultimate aim is to just be in the Olympics and just compete in the Olympics. Jenny was just six years old when her head coach Liz spotted that she had a talent for gymnastics. Now she's 11 and she's learned that natural ability is just not enough. Her life has become an endless round of training and competitions. Jenny Pinches. I spend four hours training usually each night, but on Friday only three hours, and on a Saturday six hours. Right, OK, girls? Busy day today, we've got... Tonight's four-hour session is going to be particularly tough. Jenny's been picked as part of a top team representing her club in a competition. At the weekend, we've got the British teams and our club is entering. It's quite a big competition, so we're doing lots of routines and working hard. The bars, the beam, the floor and the vault. My favourite is the floor because you can't hardly fall off the floor and um, I like doing somersaults and things backwards in the air. OK, come and see me a minute. Um, remember when you were going through your dance yesterday? You forgot all about, you know, like stretching your feet and everything on there. When you do the cat leap touch jump, you must lift that cat leap higher on the change side, just think. Our coaches are very nice, nice and the, but they do have to be quite strict. Around, that's right, wouldn't it? Yeah. You know that, don't you? Yeah? So just have a little practice on the line. Until First when I learn my routines, it can be difficult to remember, but after you've done it quite a few times, you just easily remember it and just do it like a robot, really, so you feel quite confident. Go. Gym finishes at nine o'clock, so I get home about half past nine and then just quickly have a snack and go straight to bed because it's really late. But despite the endless hours of training, Jenny keeps coming back for more. I've never really felt, oh, I really do not like gymnastics. It's always been quite fun and entertaining, so I keep at it. about your back feet down and your back joints. Good. OK, you're done. Guards off. She may not be a superstar yet, but Jenny still gets plenty of attention. As part of the elite competition squad, today she's getting a taste of being in the spotlight. We had a photo done by professionalists. They're going to be special photos because they bring back memories of our first year at the British teams. The photographer knows the way to get the widest smiles. You have permission to use your hands, whether it's tickling, a little bit of pinching, but no hurting. OK, are you ready? <laughs> One, two, three, go! Come on, go and your It was really good fun because we had to scream and we had to run, we had to play games. Now they're all warmed up, the girls can get flexible for their photographs. What can you do? You're going to cartwheels and, yeah, and movements. movements. These definitely aren't the sort of moves to try at home. That's amazing. That's incredible. That looks so much. That's cool. Is that looking equal? That looks equal to me. Finally, it's time for each of the team to pick an individual perfect pose. I did a bridge in front of the camera, so we could do whatever we wanted on our own single pictures. The session's been great fun, but Jenny's not sure that she's ready for life in the limelight. Um, if I got famous, it probably be quite annoying having pe people taking photos of you all the time but I don't know because I'm not famous yet like every other 11 year old girl Jenny still has to go to school my favorite subject at school is English because I like writing stories and poems 
your shape was a bit like an elongated penis. What does that mean? <laughs> but even within the school walls, there's no escaping the gym. Alright, any time for me to find the space. So, first of all, can I see you doing your jelly impression? Off you go. Kitty bean. Ooh, look at that! Fake bean. Right, okay, Jenny's going to um, start us off with some stretches so that we're ready for our gymnastics. So, where are we going to start from, Jenny? Neck first, okay? Jenny enjoys helping her classmates improve their acrobatics, but they've got a long way to go to get anywhere near as good as her. My friends at school all say I'm going to the Olympics, but they don't know how hard it is. <laughs> to achieve her ambition, Jenny needs to train all the time, and extra sessions mean that she sometimes even misses school. Some people get quite jealous because she's like missing all the lessons and all the hard work and she don't have to like go over it again. But at half past three, when all her friends are heading off home, Jenny's day is only half done. I do three hours of gym on a Friday, but four hours every other day of the week. But most of my friends just go home and like do whatever they want or watch telly, go on the computer. As soon as she gets in the door, she has to get ready to go out again. In less than an hour, Jenny will be back in the gym for another evening of training. Before I go to the gym, I eat my proper tea. Jenny's life as a gymnast even affects the food she eats. She has to think carefully about every meal. I'm only allowed up to five carbohydrates a day. So if I have cereal for breakfast, that's one, and then if I have cereal and toast, that's two. So it carbohydrates things like potatoes, rice, bread, and um, basically you've just got to eat healthily. There's not even time to let her dinner go down before they hit the road. And Jenny can't even rest on the journey because it's the only chance she gets to do her homework. It's Saturday morning and Jenny's tucking into her breakfast, but she's not at home with her family or even with her teammates. She's staying at a national squad training camp with the best gymnasts of her age from all over the country. Friends at gym training know a bit more like about how it's like to be like a gymnast and go on training camps and everything. Friends at school just experience like a normal life going to school and going home. These girls have come all the way to Loughborough University to make the most of its very high-tech gym. They have a long weekend of training ahead, starting with Daniela's rigorous ballet routines. One, two, push your heels, three. So you are allowed to lean on the ballet bar, okay? Square, square, shut, and one head back, two head back, push it. Hi, stop, now listen. What are you doing? The face actually from the hip. Here, knee should be up. Stay put. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay, 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 stay. Keep, 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 keep. Arm straight. Arm straight. Well done. And. Jenny is an elite gymnast, but she's still got lots to learn, including a new move on the bars, a kachev. My training went quite well today because it was the first session and I did some new skills on bars called a catch-off where you fly over the bar and straddle and catch it again. I had heel pads on my ankles so that if I did it wrong and hit my feet on the bar it wouldn't hurt as much. You're still coming down very flat. If you exaggerate this, the action will be stronger. At the moment, it's a bit hit and miss, but she's determined to get to grips with it by the end of the session. What you did last time was 100% better, wasn't it, than what you did at the beginning? But your feet need to come down a little bit more, more relaxation, then head through, strong arms. Arch, arch. Good girl. Well done. <laughs> it's not a mega difficult move, but new moves that can be quite hard when you first learn these, it's difficult at the moment. 
the gymnasts take well-deserved breaks back at the hotel. I like training camps because I get to see my friends and I like training in other places. I like staying in the hotel. You get to train with like other people from around the country and make new friends. Is it a twisty one or a straight one? I like staying away because you like with your friends and you can like hang out and have laughs. If I go away for like a week or something, I can miss my family a bit, but not too much on weekends because I am used to it really. This camp's been a great success for Jenny, but there's still plenty of training to do before her team make their debut at the British team's competition. We're hoping to come top six, but there's all people who've been to the Olympics and all the brilliant ones against us, so we've got our fingers crossed. Jenny's won a sports scholarship to a very prestigious girls' school in Bristol. Before she starts a new term, she's come to have another look around. Hello, Jennifer. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Pinches. Pleased to meet you. Hello, Mr. James. I'm just going to take Jennifer off and have a little tour with her, if that's OK. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. All right, Thank Jen. you. Come on, Jennifer. Today we went round Colston's Girls' School, which is going to be my new secondary school in September. None of my other friends are going there, but I think it's a really nice school and they're going to help me really well with my gymnastics. In year seven, you'll start with French, and this is yeah. the main French classroom. Can but you we do, do have other others. languages as well as French in year seven? No, it's just French. Thank you, girls. Good morning, girls. I um, especially liked the trips that they would be going on and the wide range of languages you could do. Hello. And then we have all the trips here. The first one that you go on would be the Year 7 trip to France. And there you can see the girls going down to sport, chemistry labs. And there's some GCSE girls just relaxing after their exam this morning. And there is one other thing that Jenny, as a gymnast, is particularly keen to find out about. What sports do you do? We've got netball. And you also do hockey, swimming, tennis and athletics. So all those things will be taught during the year. Back at home, Jenny makes the most of a little time off in between training. It's nice when I get to like, chill out and do whatever I want and like go on a walk in the woods or something and like, enjoy family life. Jenny is used to finding ways of amusing herself, as, although she's a popular girl, training every day, including at weekends, means that she doesn't get much time to play with her pals. Today, I'm supposed to be going to my friend's party, but I can't, because um, I've got gym, so I do miss out on some things. And it's not just parties that Jenny misses out on. Competing in women's gymnastics means that she doesn't get to see many boys apart from her brothers. Four-year-old Harry is very proud of his big sister's gymnastic achievements. She does more practice and swing on bars, and she can stand with her hands on the bar so really clever. She can swing round and round the bars too. Eight-year-old Jonathan is less impressed by his sister's success because he gets dragged along to watch her. I don't think much about going to competitions because she, um, I get bored halfway through and I have to bring something like a Game Boy. But it's tough luck for Jonathan as the British team's competition is just around the corner and Jenny's keen to add another medal to her very prestigious collection. I have 33 medals, um, one rosette, nine cups and 11 ribbons. This one is when I won combined for 2004 British Championships in November. My favourite medals are these two. This one because it's shiny and it has pictures of gymnasts on it. And this one because it's 3D and it's soft and it shows all the pieces. 
It's another weekend, another hotel, and the first day of the British team's competition. But right now, Jenny and her pals have more important things on their minds. Right, girls, we're in one one mind. Best one for the the best bed. It's really fun having to like mess about in the hotel and have fun, bouncing on the beds and just messing about with my friends. So it's really good when we cover it as a team and we all like get along well. It's a two-day event, but the girls only have to compete on one. So for once they get a chance to watch the action and check out the performances of their favourite gymnasts. It's a bit nerve-wracking watching the other rounds and um, knowing that they're really good and they might get really high scores. Although it's fun watching the competition, the academy team realise that they're going to have lots to live up to. We're competing against best twin who goes to the Olympics, all the seniors and who've like won before. Come on, Beth, come on. Land! Back at the hotel, the girls make the most of their time away from home. Our team went swimming last night and um, it was really fun because we got splashed about and we went in the jacuzzi and it was all girls together. It's the morning of their big day and time to add an extra bit of sparkle to their performance. Although she's the youngest member of the team, Jenny doesn't seem to get left out. All glammed up and ready to go, the girls set off for the competition. Today, it's our girls' turn to please the crowd, and the nerves are beginning to show. Worst bit of competition is probably before you've done anything, because you're really nervous and you don't know what's going to happen and don't know what moves the other girls have got, so you don't really know what to expect, really. <laughs> There are over 90 competitors of all ages here from 16 of the best British clubs. So Jenny and her team will need lots of luck to get the top 10 finish they're desperately hoping for. the gymnasts compete in front of a panel of judges who mark them on all of their moves. Our score on the day, we have a start value depending on the moves we do, and then you lose points for having bent legs, flexed feet, um, falling off, you lose quite a lot of points for that. It's probably easier to compete as a team because you, have, you can rely on other people. Having lots of people cheering you on kind of encourages you and makes you more confident so you think, I can do this and then you do better. And now it's time for this 11-year-old to work her magic. After two days of great gymnastics, it's finally time for the long-awaited results. Will they get the top ten place they want so much? City of Liverpool take first place, 
Knots are second and Heathrow A are third. But what about the academy? It's a brilliant result and Jenny's overjoyed. We did really well, better than expected. We were hoping to come top ten, but um, we came top six, we came fifth as a team, which was really good. And um, as an individual, I came joint 16th out of 88 of all the people who went to the Olympics. So we're really pleased with how we've done. But the real highlight for Jenny is getting to meet her idol. Mm. Well done, Beth. You did as well as you could possibly do. Mm. And then it's time to go home to her usual different life. Tomorrow, yeah, it's back to school, back to training, just usual week again, more training and competitions, so back to usual.